Hey guys, another warm spring afternoon here out in the orchard. It's about 80 degrees or so, it's warm. I'm right next to this uh, Santa Barbara peach tree. So this will be kind of a follow up to the last video. I was out here checking on the trees, which I do almost every day, especially this time of year. It's very important as the new green growth comes off these trees. It's very important for me to come down and check on them each day or at least uh, every other day and just make sure nothing's wrong. So when I came out here today, I noticed some ants on this branch and some damage. That's how fast it happened. This was not here yesterday. See those leaves curled up? There we go. See those leaves curled up? That's damage from the ants. And there's not even that many ants, but there's enough to cause problems. They bring up aphids on here and farm them. And they bring, they take the milk back to the colony and they eat that. So that damage has just happened today. Luckily, there's not much more here. I caught it quick. Um, and this, this branch should be okay. Um, and overall, everything's fine. It's just that one spot, but that's how fast it happens. So you have to keep your eyes on your trees if you have uh, recurring ant problems, if you've had it in the past or anything. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get rid of the aphids. Um, get rid of all the pests. The best way to do that is spray it with water at a decent amount of pressure enough to get them off. But since this is such a small area, I'm just gonna get them off with my fingers. You can actually just kind of wipe them all away. So first thing is just get them off there. Then we're gonna set up our barrier. The reason I've got this cardboard down is to kill off some weeds. There's a bit of uh, weed and crabgrass down here, which is uh, super annoying to pick the crabgrass. So I'm just gonna kill it this way. So the first thing you're gonna do is get your barrier, get a piece of tape and wrap it on there and tape it on. And what I'm gonna do, this is how I've done it in the past, but I'm actually gonna do it a different way this time, slightly different, which is actually add another one up top and I'll show you uh, why we're gonna do that here, but let me get that on first. All right, so I've got the second one on. Now I've got two. The reason I do that is because this stuff is actually a little, a little runny. Um, so when I've used it in the past, it has dripped down the trunk a little and I just wanna keep it off the trunk, even though I don't think that it harms the trunk, but uh, I just wanna keep it off there altogether. So I'm just gonna now, I mean, you can use a spoon or a type of stick or butter knife, but I'm just gonna take my finger and just spread it on the top here so that when it drips, it drips down to where the other paper is and it won't drip onto the trunk. All right, so I've got that on, a nice even coat around there, not too crazy about that much. It will drip down a little and that's why I got two layers or two sections. So that's it, it's that easy. Don't use Vaseline or any other, you know, I don't recommend any other product, but this, search for that online. It should, shouldn't be too hard to find. And this stuff is very sticky and tacky, so definitely try to use gloves if you can. And there's a close-up, so you can kind of see. It's just a thin layer of goop, and it's gonna stay there on the paper and maybe drip down a little, but that's enough that the ants get stuck when they walk in it and they can't get through, hence the name Tanglefoot. Well, that's gonna do it for now. Make sure to like the video, subscribe if you're not already, and share the video with a friend. Thanks for stopping by, we will see you next time.